show followed by the awards telecast at 9 p.m. Eastern and Pacific time. The NAACP is honored once again to be on TV One, our broadcast network partner, and we're very happy about that. So on behalf of the NAACP, let me publicly recognize two of the NAACP's friends, personal friends of mine, Alfred Liggins and Kathy Hughes, for their partnership and support of the NAACP. Uh, I am privileged to serve as the chairman of the NAACP Image Awards for a number of reasons. Uh, I grew up in a very small rural community in northern Alabama in the 60s. And I think for individuals in my age range, we understand the importance of the NAACP and the sacrifices that were made by that generation. And as I look out at all of the beautiful young people that are continuing to serve this wonderful organization today, be it not for the efforts of the NAACP, uh, I would not have been able to integrate a park school in At a time when Alabama politics did not allow people like me to enter the University of Alabama to attend that institution. It would not have afforded me an opportunity to work in corporate America for almost 40 years. And that same school that I started in as a freshman on November 22nd, because of the efforts and sacrifices of the NAACP, my mother, Alma Price James, now has a scholarship in her name at the University of Alabama. So, that is why we do what we do for the NAACP. I'm also fortunate enough to work with uh, some wonderful staff people. And I do just want to take a moment to mention the three people, uh, two of which are with our Hollywood Bureau, Cynthia Sizzle, Mayhew Hines. Cynthia, are you in the room? Uh, Robin Harrison and the person that keeps all of us in line, our VP of events, Anna Aponte Curtis, who also serves as the chairman of the Black Meeting Planners Association. Uh, as I mentioned, our partnership with, with TD1, and we have representatives of TD1 here in the audience with us. Thank you guys for being here with us today. We are also doing some great things with the Image Awards with our production companies. Um, Reggie Cudlin, Byron Phillips, uh, and Phil Gurn are here in the office of the Indian audience with us today. And let me again throw out some thanks and recognition for those three guys. We were burning up the midnight all very late. Uh, I'm not an entertainment person, I'm a corporate guy. So we're talking about metrics and budget sheets and trying to make uh, all those things work. But thank you all for making this a very successful opportunity for the NAACP. Uh, the other thing that I take a great honor and pleasure in doing will be to introduce 
the NAACP's president and CEO, um, Cornell William Brooks. My dear friend, who has um, turned out to be a wonderful leader, I was fortunate enough to be uh, a part of the search committee, and we were impressed all along the interview stage. And I would also say that he and I are brothers because we are members of the greatest fraternity in America, Alpha Phi Alpha. <laughs> Come on, friend. <laughs> Thank you, Leonard, and thank you, Frat. Hello, everyone. I'm extremely pleased to be here today to take part yeah. in the first yeah. of many yeah. activities for the yeah. NAACP yeah. Image Awards. The NAACP is the oldest and the nation's largest civil rights organization. It's half million adult and young members throughout the United States and the world are literally on the front lines advocating for civil rights in their communities. And they work tirelessly to empower this nation to be all that it can be. The NAACP's mission is to promote social justice. The Image Awards is unique in that it celebrates the artistic efforts and significant milestones in America's history. It could not happen without the hard work of our chairman, Rosalind McAllister Brock, the Board of Directors, the Image Awards Committee, and all of the NAACP branches and national staff members. Without their tireless dedication, the Image Awards would not be the success that it is today. The Image Awards serves as a major fundraiser for the NAACP. The support we receive from our friends, our sponsors, help us fund not only this event, but many of the year-round programs and initiatives that are vital to our work that make our work real for people struggling in communities, struggling to realize the promises of the American dream. This year's sponsors, this year's sponsors include AT&T, Bank of America, FedEx, Ford Motor Company, General Motors, Hyundai Motor, of Amer Hyundai Motor America, PepsiCo, Southwest Airlines, and Wells Fargo. Again, thank you for joining us today. I'll be back a little later on with a very special announcement. Thank you again, President Brooks, and we thank you for your leadership of the NAACP in these most uh, trying and challenging times. One thing is really unique about the NAACP's Image Awards voting process. Unlike a lot of award shows, our recipients are actually voted on by the members. Okay? Our NAACP members, 250,000 individuals strong, have an opportunity to begin the selection process of the top five panelists in 54 categories that will, in fact, be uh, announced here in a very few minutes. In other words, you gotta be a member in order to vote. You have to be a member in order to vote. So for those of you who may not, and I know there's not too many people, that are not members of the NAACP, if this were Sunday and we were in service, we would typically say something like, the doors of the church are <laughs> So the doors to our membership, we would like to open. Uh, if you're not a member, please go to our website, www.naacp.org. Memberships for students are as cheap as $15 annually. And for adults, they're $30 annually. So before we announce the nominees, you should also know that a nominating committee of 300 industry professionals and NAACP leaders from across the country voted to determine the five nominees that I mentioned earlier in each one of the 54 categories. Uh, and those votes will determine the winners. Winners will be announced live 
doing the on-stage broadcast by our TV One Network partner on Friday, February the 6th. Once again, if you don't have TV One, you can't watch the Image Awards show. If you don't have TV One, you cannot watch the Image Awards show. So, next piece that's not on the script <laughs> says, make sure that you have TV One. <laughs> and if you'll go to the NAACP's website, we can also give you some assistance in doing that. We are, as the NAACP, honored today to have amongst us a few shining stars to announce this year's slate of nominees. Aja Naomi King, Alfred Enoch, Gina Rodriguez, Michelle Turner, Tessa Tompkins, Tracy Ellis Ross. You go, girl. And Jake off from State Forum. Small ad. Uh, to get started, please welcome Michelle Turner from Entertainment Tonight to the stage to announce this year's nominees in our writing and director's category. Thank you. Started. You ready? Yes. First up, let's do the writers. The nominees for Outstanding Writing in a Comedy Series are okay. Aisha Bukhar, Parks and Recreation, the Anna and Chris episode for NBC. Bridget Munoz Leibowitz, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Road Trip, Fox. Mindy Kaling, The Mindy Project, Danny and Mindy for Fox. Regina Hicks, Instant Mom, A Kid's Choice, for Nickelodeon and Nick at Night. Sarah Hess, Orange is the New Black, It Was a Change, Netflix. Nominees for Outstanding Writing in a Drama Series are Erica Green Swafford, How to Get Away with Murder. The Kids is Cute, and AJ, that's my best by the way. That's all I got. Marv Rock Akeel, Being Mary Jane, Uber Love, BET. Warren Light and Julie Martin, Law and Order, SBU, American Disgrace for NBC. Zaheer McGee, Scandal, Mama Said Knock You Out for ABC. And Zoanne Platt, Grey's Anatomy, You Be Ill for ABC. Nominees for Outstanding Writing in a Motion Picture are Chris Rock, Top Five, Paramount Pictures. Justin Simeon, Dear White People, Roadside Attractions, and Lionsgate. Margaret, you can clap, Tessa. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret Nagel, The Good Lie, Alcon Entertainment. Misan Sagay Bell, Fox Searchlight Pictures and DJ Films. Richard Wink, The Equalizer, Columbia Pictures. Now for the directors. The nominees for Outstanding Director in a Television Comedy Series are Ken Whittingham, Parks and Recreation, Prom for NBC. Ken Whittingham, The Mindy Project, Think Like a Peter for Fox. Ken's got to check out like that. Ken's working. <laughs> Linda Mendoza, Bad Judge, One Brave Waitress for NBC. Reginald Hudlin, Bad Judge, Knife to a Gunfight for NBC. You're in the room? Yes, he's in the room. Let's clap for him. <laughs> Stan Lathan, Real Husbands of Hollywood, No New Friends for BET. And the nominees for Outstanding Directing in a Drama Series are Anton Cropper, Suits, one, two, three, go for USA. Carl Franklin, House of Cards, chapter 14 for Netflix. Carrie Joji Fukunaga, True Detective, who goes there for HBO. Hanel Culpepper, Criminal Minds, The Edge of Winter for CBS. Millicent Shelton, The Divide and the Little Ones Get Caught for WeTV. And the nominees for Outstanding Directing in a Motion Picture are Ama Asante, Bell. Fox Surplus Pictures, DJ Films. Antoine Fuqua, The Equalizer, Columbia Pictures. Ava DuVernay, Selma, Paramount Gina Prince-Vikewood, Beyond the Lights, for Relativity. And John Ridley, Jimmy, All is By My Side, for Accelerator Media. Well, that is it for writing and directing fantastic nominees. Now, please welcome to the stage 
the star of one of this summer's indie hits, Dear White People, Tessa Thompson, and the star of Jane the Virgin, Gina Rodriguez. They will announce the nominees in the television categories, ladies. Thank you, Michelle and Alfred. Yes, thank you both. Michelle, I'm going to practice my, my reporter voice. You've got to go low. I'm going low. I'm going to try for this. Let's get started. Go for it. Let's get started. Yes. <laughs> Our first nominees in Outstanding News Information Series or Special are America After Ferguson, PBS. Finding Your Roots with Henry Louis Gates, Jr., PBS. Melissa Harris Perry, MSNBC. Oprah's Life Class, OWN. Unsung, TV One. That was very impressive. Was it? it was yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it really out. The nominees for Outstanding Reality Series are It's There. <laughs> Dancing with the Stars, ABC. Yanla. Fix my life. Did I say it wrong yeah. again? No, no, you did. It's okay, because I was going to say that was a Latino version. Don't get it twisted. It's a Latino version. It's not Latino version. Okay? <laughs> Fix my life. Oh. <laughs> Shark Tank, ABC. Lots of, lots of innovations for Shark Tank. We'll get on that one next. Yeah. The Voice, NBC. Welcome to Sweetie Pies. Oh. Yes. Really good. <laughs> and the uh, nominations for Outstanding Actor in a Comedy Series are Andre Bauer. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Fox. Okay. Anthony Anderson, Whoa! Blackish. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ABC. Dom Cheadle, House of Lies, Showtime. Keenan Michael Key, Keenan Field, Comedy Central. I like that show. <laughs> Kevin Hart, Real Husbands of Hollywood, BET. Oh, the nominees for Outstanding Actress in a Comedy Series are Mindy Kaling, The Mindy Project, Fox. Nisi Nash, The Soul Man, TV Land. Tracy Ellis Ross. <laughs> Presentation 
No. In a that's you. I'm sorry. I was trying to give you an award. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, not right like now. After the show. <laughs> <laughs> the nominees for Outstanding Actor in a Drama Series are LL Cool J, NCIS, LA, CBS. How do you say that in Spanish? LL Cool J. Shamar Moore, Criminal Minds, oh, right. CBS. Oh, right. oh, right. oh, right. oh, Everyone's right. thinking about those, those eight pets. Yeah. 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 Tate Diggs, Murder in the First, TNT. Oh. Can I get an all right? Oh, for him. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Our last category in television is Outstanding Drama Series. The nominees are Being Mary Jane, BET, Grey's Anatomy, ABC, House of Cards, Netflix, how to Get Away with Murder, ABC. <laughs> Scandal, ABC. Oh, now, those sorry, nominees sorry. were the hottest. Yeah, yeah, very hot. All of the nominees were amazing. <laughs> very hot. Yes. <laughs> very hot. <laughs> Hi, guys. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, and, uh, yeah, thank you, Dan and Lacey for having me today. Uh, yes, thank you. I'm honored and so excited to be here as well. I love music, and uh, I can't wait to see who's been nominated. So here we go. Nominees for Outstanding New Artist are Three Winings Brothers, BMG, Aloe Black, Exile Recordings, Interscope Records, Erica Campbell, My Block Inc., E1 Music, Woo! Janae Iko, Def Jam Recording. Liv Warfield, Cobalt Label Services. I think everyone's going off by your accent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like to work it out. The accent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and to continue, outstanding female artist nominees are Alicia Keys, RCA Records, Beyonce, Columbia Records, Jennifer Hudson, RCA Records, Legacy, Bird Records, Mary J. Blige, Capital. And for outstanding male artists, the nominees are John Legend, Columbia Records, Kem, Motown Capital, Kendrick Lamar, Interscope Records, Michael Jackson, Epic Records, Pharrell Williams, Columbia Records. Nominees in Outstanding Duo Group or Collaboration are Being With You, Smokey Robinson, featuring Mary J. Blige, Verve. Brand New, Pharrell Williams, featuring Justin Timberlake, Columbia Records. Gust of Wind, Pharrell Williams, featuring Daft Punk, Columbia Records. Love, Marriage, and Divorce, Tony Braxton and Babyface, Def Jam Records. Stay With Me, Sam Smith, featuring Mary J. Blige, Capital. And the nominees for Outstanding Song are Good Kisser, Usher, RCA Records, I, Kendrick Lamar, TDE, and Interscope, Pretty Hurts, Beyonce, Columbia Records, The Man, Aloe Black, Interscope Records, We Are Here, Alicia Keys, RCA Records. And to wrap up the music category, the final nominees of the Outstanding Album, they are Aretha Franklin, Aretha Franklin sings the Diva Classics, RCA Records. Beyonce, Platinum Edition, Beyonce, Columbia Records. Girl, Pharrell Williams, Columbia Records. J Hud, Jennifer Hudson, RCA Records. Love, Marriage and Divorce, Tony Braxton and Babyface, Jeff Jam Recordings. And that wraps up the music category. Right. Okay. I'm excited. I mean, I think that was an appropriate response. I think this is exciting. Um, I'm very excited about Blackish, so yeah. Um, so as you can see, no, I'm not reading that. They saved the best for last. <laughs> no. um, I'm actually not talking about myself. This was an amazing year for feature films. So uh, I know the nominees <coughs> committee did not have an easy job. And first up, nominees for Outstanding Independent Motion Picture. And the first name is Belle from Fox Searchlight Films. Or Fox Searchlight Pictures, DJ Films. Dear White People, Lionsgate, and Roadside Attractions. Half of a Yellow Sun, Modern Media Inc. 
Jimmy. All is by my side. Accelerator media. Life of a King, Animus Films, Serena Films. And then the nominees for, doc for Outstanding Documentary Films are document Documented, Apo Anik Productions, Finding Fela, Fela, Finding Fela, Just All Productions, I Am Ali, Focus World, Fish Eye Films, Keep On Keeping On, Radius, Through a Lens Darkly, A Black Photographer's and the emergence of people that flash. Someone's camera's right in front of the, thank you. <laughs> You're right in front of it. Thank you. <laughs> there, let's hear, there we go. Through a lens darkly, black photographers and the emergence of a people, Chimpanzee Productions, Inc. Outstanding actress in a motion picture, the nominees are Goo Goo in Bathara, Bell, Fox Searchlight Pictures and DJ Films, Kawa, Someone say it for me. Kavanjane. Kavanjane Wallace. Annie, Columbia, Predi Columbia Predictors. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do her whole thing again. I'm going to say oh, her name girl, real. Girl, Here we go. Kavanjane Wallace. Annie, Columbia Pictures. Taraji P. Henson. No Good Deeds. No Good Deed. Screen Gems. Tessa Thompson, Dear White People, Lionsgate and Roadside Attractions. Ooh. Tessa! Viola <laughs> ah! <laughs> Davis, The Disappearance of Eleanor Rigby, The Weinstein Company. Outstanding actor in a motion picture. Nominees are Chadwick Boseman, Get On Up, Universal Pictures. David Oyello, Selma. Oh, wow. <laughs> Who is that for? Paramount Pictures. I'm giving, can you... Denzel Washington, The Equalizer, Columbia Pictures. Idris Alba. <laughs> no Good Deeds, Screen Gems. Nate Parker, Beyond the Lights, Relativity Media. And last, but certainly not least, the films for Outstanding Motion Picture. The nominees are Bell, Fox Searchlight Pictures, DJ Films. Beyond the Lights, Relativity Media. Dear White People, Lionsgate, Roadside Attractions. Get on up, Universal Pictures, and Selma, Paramount Pictures. That's it for me. I uh, thank President Brooks and Leonard for having me. Well, this has really been an exciting morning. We certainly had a great list of nominees. Now, before we wrap things up, I'd like to make one more special announcement. That is, nominees for Entertainer of the Year. The nominees in this category were selected by a Blue Ribbon Subcommittee of industry and NAACP members. The nominees for Entertainer of the Year are Beyonce, Chris Rock, Kendrick Lamar, Key and Peele, Shonda Rhimes, Taraji P. Henson, and Viola Davis. And now, before I hand it back to Michelle and Jake, on behalf of Chairman Brock, the Board of Directors, and the Image Awards Committee, I want to thank all of you, all of our special guests, sponsors, and our broadcast partner, TV One, and congratulate all the nominees.